Hello, friends! Today we are playing Pokemon Legends Arceus. 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 Ooh, I like okay, Arceus. That sounds nice. I know nothing about this game. I am going in completely blind. I don't know. This might even not be an RPG. I don't know. This might be a different genre. I don't know. As far as I know, I think that this is a normal Pokemon game. Just that takes place in the past with a reduced dex, which honestly sounds fantastic. <laughs> no, we're not doing a poll for the uh, play gameplay language. That, that's not happening. Oh, okay. Pretty, 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 pretty. Welcome to my realm, located beyond both time and space. It is well that thou art here. I am that which humans call Arceus. Now, I wish to know thine appearance. I do like how modern Pokemon say, what's your appearance instead of, you know, are you a boy or a girl? You know, the, the I like it a lot better. Kind of like this. I kind of like this one. The, the blue hair is nice. I could go either way. Blue hair or a little bit darker skin tone. And hello, friends. And hello to everybody in chat. You are all wonderful and I love all of you. What is thy name? Hi, I'm Jade. <laughs> Perfect. I assume we'll be able to change hairstyles. I, I, I hope there's just an entire fashion set the entire game. Thou shalt find thyself in a world of strange to thee. A world inhabited by wondrous creatures that the humans call Pokemon. Jade. Seek out all Pokemon, and thou shalt find me once more. Okay, so that's interesting. Um, instead of getting an introduction by the, you know. Wait. What? Wait, are we getting isekai There's a cell phone, so that's not ancient pissed past. Okay, we kind of need a cell phone, though. Are we supposed to go into another world without a smartphone? How are we supposed to go into another world with and not have our... Wait, hello. Oh, hello. Hi, God. How you doing? <laughs> not... I like that shirt. I want that shirt. Aw, we're being hugged by God in the infinite cosmos. That's got to feel comfy. Being hugged by God in the infinite cosmos has got to be super comfy, right? It's got to be. Okay, so, wake up. Okay, um, hi, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, do wake up, won't you? What's going on? What's going on? What? Oh, are we just going straight in? Are you alive, my girl? Hi, your head's weird. How you doing? Whoa, it's a giant rift, of, rift in space time in the top left there. That's probably a bad thing. You give me quite the shock falling from the sky like that. But thank goodness you seem unharmed. Um... Who are you? I'd ask you the same. I mean, you fell out of the sky, you understand? Come on, who in the world does that? I must say, your clothing is unusual. You wouldn't happen to have an acquaintance in these parts, would you? Oh. <laughs> I see. You seem to be in quite a bit of a pickle. Might I offer some directions? Have you decided where you're going to stay? Oh. 
So, you don't know anyone here, and you don't know where to spend the night. Well, it's a proper pickle indeed. Are you quite sure you'll be able to survive? Oh. <laughs> we'll, be in real, we'll be in too real with these answers here. Also, we can probably start the poll for a starter now. If you, yeah. I see. Well, no gentleman would have been a person in need. Crew! Foam! Pla-pla! Oh, I completely forgot. I caught up with these three one-way Pokemon when you tumbled out of the sky. It's almost as if they knew you'd appear here. Ah, uh, but do you even know what a Pokemon is? Yes, I do know what a Pokemon is. It's like, mm -hmm, that much we got. Ah, oh, that's a relief. They fell from the sky, we seem to... Uh, okay, it seems to still have some common ground. A little bit, not much. Not a lot of common ground. These three Pokemon belong to me. Mysterious creatures that they are. Oh, and what might your name be? Ow! Oh. <laughs> oh, you're Jade. That name has quite a lovely ring to it. I imagine it must have some interesting meaning. Oh, but I do apologize. I haven't introduced myself yet. My name is Leventon. I am something of a Pokemon professor. That is to say, a scholar in seeking to deepen our understanding of Pokemon. You see, these Pokemon... Th oh, wait. They're going away now. Okay, I guess I don't have any mods on. One second. Um, 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 um. Okay. Wait. Oh, the poll's already active. Oh, a mod got found. Okay. All right. Oh, blast and bother, my darling Pokemon. Why must you run away from me again? I'm terribly sorry, but do you think you'd help me round them up? Oh, I beg of you. Wait, wait! <laughs> okay, first things first. Nope, I... Mm, okay. I need to switch my camera angles. Do I have a... I have a duck. Okay, well, I guess we're just going to the place on the map. This is pretty. This is a lot prettier. This is a lot prettier than Sword and Shield. I I want to get to over there just, just so... Whoops. Just so I can switch out my camera controls. Wait, up, up? Yes, options. There we go. No, no, no. Um... There, I can see now. Excellent. Everything's good now. So who's winning? Oh gosh, it's still a tie? Oh gosh. Oh, hello. Oh, a cell phone. Good. The glowing beeping object over there. Well, I need a cell phone. I haven't actually seen that show. I've never actually seen In Another World with my start phone. You found something that resembles a phone. Okay, if that's fair. It's probably your phone, but it changed shape. You feel a strange power emanating from it. A message appeared on the screen. Okay, I need to... Speaking of, of, of appearing on the screen, I need to screenshot this because that's a fantastic reaction shot. One second. I got... I have to... That's that's next to uh, week's thumbnail right there. That's a, that's a YouTube face if I ever saw one, right? <laughs> oh, it looks like Cyndaquil's in the lead. Oh, okay. I bestow upon thee this arc phone and thy mission... Seek out all Pokemon. I... Okay, 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 okay. Um... Can I jump? I don't appear to have a jump. That's okay. Ah, uh, another miss. Buddy, you okay? Oh, I'm glad you came to my rescue, my new friend from the sky. 
we were just isekai'd and that's all that's happened. Literally all that's happened right now is uh, we isekai'd. That's it. Full stop. We, we isekai'd and now we're here. This is our dead. Uh, yeah. I tried catching the little runaways by tossing in some Pokeballs their way, but I'm not the best at this sort of thing, you see. I'd love to give you a go at it, but perhaps I should tell you a bit about these three first. Now that one's a Rowlet. Rowlet can photosynthesize like a plant, and apparently uses its sharp feathers. Okay. Crew! Oh, that one over there is Cyndaquil. Its fire burning on its back will flare up whatever it's surprised or irate. Ow. The Pokemon near the pond is Oshawott. Hello, friends! Oshawott naps while floating on the water, and he can use his... Ah! Fish, fish! Oh, I nearly forgot the most crucial thing. How to go about catching them. Here you go, my girl. Pokeballs. Throw these at Pokemon to catch them. I thought this took place before... Po 50? Oh my goodness. Mysterious ball that can be thrown. Sure. Ah, but that won't do for an explanation, will it? I do apologize. Let me be more thorough. Now, I've managed to... <laughs> already... I mentioned already the Pokemon are strange, marvelous creatures. What's so strange about them, you ask? Well, each and every Pokemon is able to shrink itself down to a minuscule size. And that's where Pokeballs come in. Pokeballs are a recent invention, you see. They're one and a Pokemon, and why the Pokemon will shrink down and fit inside the ball. Comfy as can be. And with that, you've caught a Pokemon. It's an Apricorn, right? It's an Apricorn is what you use to make Pokeballs? Oh, I know we've just met, but I'm afraid I have no one else to turn to. I'd be awfully grateful if you could catch my three one at ways. Now, the proper technique is simple. Let the ball fly. Though far be it for me to say so, I suppose, given my own lack of skill in this area. Pokemon can be caught by throwing balls. Throw down ZR. Uh, aim with right stick. Sure. And then release to throw. Okay. I assume we have to catch all th three and then we pick which one. Hmm. And yeah, we can probably get some names rolling. Hello, Cyndaquil. Get dunked. Oh, that's a that's awesome. I really like that. Oh, wonderful. You've caught a Pokemon. Seems you've caught a, quite a knack for this Pokemon catching business, Jade. Jolly skill useful. Jolly useful skill to have around here. Only two more of my darling runaways. I don't seem afraid of them. I mean, why would you be afraid of them? Pokemon can't, can never attack people. That's gonna... That, I assume that's not going to be here. Wait. Oh, good. I can hardly believe it, Jade. Incredible. You know, many people fear to even approach Pokemon. Never mind catch them. Bravo, indeed. And just one more to go. Let's wrap this up, shall we? Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you? Where'd it go? Wait, but where are you actually at, though? Ah, uh, Shawat. Mine is not seeing it. Am I blind? Have I just been... Oh, there you are. Nice. I think you have to catch all three starters. Give it another go. Sure, old girl. Am I, I'm not old. I'm tiny. I mean, I'm old, but like my character's not. Uh, there you are. I like this. You basically have some sort of shooter controls. Ba -da -ba -dum. Okay, so Cyndaquil is a fire type. Oh, thank you very much indeed. What a relief to have all of them back. You see, the three Pokemon you've caught have generally just arrived at a village to help with their research. And they won't listen to anyone. As I mentioned, they bolted from the village almost as if they knew you'd come along. But I must say, I was taken aback by how well you use Pokeballs. How is it you only catch Pokemon so ably when you've just arrived here? I can't think but the help I can't help but think there's a reason for you to appear here and now. 
Yo, I got a phone. Seek out all Pokemon? The object is an arc phone, you say? What an odd device. Could it be guiding you somehow? I... Buddy, your guess is as good as mine. If you'll indulge me for a moment, there's something I'd like to share with you. You see, I have a dream. To compile all this regions into the first complete record of its Pokemon. I shall call it a Pokedex. Yes, a proper Pokedex was a wonderful work of research, combining all the detailed records of all the Pokemon in the region. But in, in order to properly document the Pokemon, one must first, of course, catch them. Ah, therein lies the rub, I'm afraid. Pokeballs have only been just invented, and many haven't mastered how to use them yet. Enter you, a person with a clear talent for catching Pokemon. Your goal is to seek out every Pokemon, and mine is to have all those Pokemon caught. A situation ripe for teamwork. Don't you agree? No. What do you come out? What do you say? Shall we help one out another? I I gotta see what happens if I say no. I I, I know it's going to um but thou must me, but I wanna say, um I don't know. Come out, girl. What do you say? Really? That's it? I'm gonna try it three times. One more? See if there's any different dialogue. Okay. Okay, you conv you 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 convinced me with your stunning rhetoric. <laughs> Then whoever you, and you are and wherever you may have come from, I welcome you with open arms. We've got a Pokedex to complete. All right. Let's get these Pokemon back to the village and we'll sort out any lodgings and get you some proper clothes and a meal. Follow me. Onwards. Jubilife? Jubilife. Oh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. And that becomes a city later, obviously. But we're in Sinnoh then, right? Yeah, that's probably normal. That's probably like a good... That's good, actually. You you want to have a little bit of a crack in reality. Otherwise, your reality can build up and become too heavy. So having a small crack in reality like that... Actually, many scientists say that it's healthy. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your tireless work keeping us safe, my good guardsman. This young lady was of great assistance to me and my Pokemon. So I hope you'll forgive my bringing her into the village for a bit. Yo, what up? I mean, it has to be Ancient Sino, right? It has to be Ancient Sino. Otherwise, it wouldn't be Jubilife. Like, that much checks, checks out, right? Pretty zone. Oh, this way, if you'd please. Jubilife Village. We've come a long way thanks to the fine people of Galaxy Expeditions. The Wait a minute. I understand you must be a tad curious about the village, but no, no, I don't want to follow you, actually. No, we gotta. Oh, Levin. Oh, Leventon. Alright, so this was just established. I like the passive audio uh, lines. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So, really interesting. Team Galaxy is actually based off of an ancient thing. Or Team Galactic, rather. Huh. Oh, botheration. I'd almost forgotten. I need to go and report that we successfully recovered the Pokemon. Can I ask you if you wait to me at the canteen? It's just past the bridge here to the left. The Wallflower, it's called. The arc phone's beeping. Okay. That's handy. Ooh. Mm-hmm. So, pull up map. Seems actually pretty useful. Guidance markers when exploring. Okay. Sure. Why not? Sounds good to me. Uh, Cyndaquil. So Cyndaquil is hot, Cyndaquil is fire, Cyndaquil turns into a big, like, fire badger thing, right? Is there anything badgerish that we could go with for a name, I guess? Yes, okay, that's it. My name proposition for Cyndaquil is Salamandastron, which is the name of an old book that I really like. 
it has the neat word salamander in it, which is, you know, very fire-based. Even though it's not a lizard, it is still fire elemental. And this is a book that, uh, in the name of a book that very much includes, um, ooh, we can just go into, okay, we're just going into houses. Oh, I guess not. Yes. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Hi. Well, now, aren't you awfully suspicious? The wallflower is for galaxy team folk only. We don't have seats for outsiders now. Move along. Oh. Oh. I think that he's a jerk. Who in the world are you? And what's that bizarre garb you're wearing? Pokemon could slice right through those films of the excuses for clothes. I don't know. The thread count of modern clothes is pretty high. For you to get in there, someone must have vouched for you. Was it Professor Leventon? Do you two know each other? He's from a region of a long way off. He's not the most reliable sort, though, letting all the Pokemon run off and give him the slip. But even we ought to wait just a while ago. If he hadn't been resting up, if I hadn't been resting up after some Pokemon drubbed you with a move called Thundershock, I'd have been crawling him instead of you. But the professor, well, unfortunately, just as Ray says, I'm a clumsy sort of fellow, to put it mildly. But everything will be quite all right now. Jade has agreed to help us with our Pokedex. As in, she's going to join the Survey Corps? What makes you think it's a good idea? We can't just take in any misfit who wanders out of the wilderness. I'll allow it. Huh? There's a lot of off-screen comments that are impossible to voice until you don't know who's saying them in. Assuming the individual can contribute to the Survey Corps, that is. I am the captain of Galaxy's team, Survey Corps. You may call me Silen. She's kind of cool. She's kind of cool. Professor Leventon has told me how... You helped secure his Pokemon when they slipped his control. Now it seems you would like to feed us and uh, you would us to feed and house you in exchange for ongoing labor. Yep. This could be about 15 or so. Uh, closer to 150, but you know, quite old enough to work for your keep. But we can't take in a stranger who wanders in among us without any idea of their skills or origins. Tomorrow we shall see if you can prove yourself worthy. Ah, most reasonable of a decision, Captain. Now, would you join us for a meal? I'm sure you've got plenty of questions for our visitor. Ah, oh, that's quite all right. I prefer you alone so that I might appreciate my meals without distraction. Fair. Honestly, that's fair. Aloof as always. Well, no matter. The rest of us can share a meal and some pleasant conversation, eh? Benny, old chum. The usual potato mochi, if you please. But make it for three. Potato mochi? Huh. That seems like a bad idea. I don't know. I don't really have mochi, though, so I guess maybe it's a good idea? I don't know. Where did you find the stranger in the first place, Professor? Well, you know that great hole in the sky? The one that people call the space... The one that people call the space-time rift. I'm sorry. If you just happen to have a hole in your sky that people just happen to call space-time rift, you should probably keep an eye on that. That's probably a bit more important than you say describing it is. Like, you can't just call something a space-time rift. You can't just be like, oh yeah, no big deal, but that's the space-time rift over there, you know. We keep it around, we look at it once in a while, you know, it, it, it probably incurs the impending doom of all of humanity, but you know, it still makes it nice to read your documents by night. Our new friend fell right out of it. Yep, mm-hmm. Was that a joke? Come now, I'm a scientist! My job is to explain and observe any phenomena. I concern myself only with facts. Now, you already know there are many Pokemon here in the Hisui region. Oh, yeah, they're all over the place. In the grass, forest, ocean. It's up to us to study them and figure out what kind of creatures they are. Well, we know this much. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. True. It's all but impossible to know what kinds of powers they might possess. Or what sorts of wondrous things they can do. 
But that's where Jane's gonna come in. Hi. She successfully caught three Pokemon. Three of them in quick order, do you understand? Nobody in Galaxy Team is capable of feet like that. We can finally begin our Pokemon research in earnest. Oh, that's really something. We count ourselves lucky when we manage to catch a single wild Pokemon. Well, fending off all their attacks, you know. Ah, uh, well, to be perfectly fair, the Pokemon that fled to the beach weren't on the attack. But the key to catching Pokemon is getting close enough to aim your Pokeball well. And it seems our new friend is fearless enough to do just that. The Survey Corps have all the leeway to be enjoying a leisurely meal, outsider? Captain's ordered ten whole portions of potato mochi, you know. Slow progress on that Pokedex certainly has her on edge. I'm sure she'll rein in the good Captain's dress soon enough. Let's have her fill. And I think, if you make it to Galaxy Team, you'll never have to worry about a meal again. The team provides for all of its members' needs, even if the members fell out of the sky. Okay, 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 okay. Can I get some cool clothes? I mean, actually, I do like this outfit. Never, You know what? Never mind. I'm keeping with this outfit. You know, I feel relaxed about all this. Don't you know that we'll have to get Jade to join the Survey Corps until she passes the trial? Not to worry. I have complete confidence in their skills. Let's hope it's not misplaced. And Jade, was it? For tonight, at least, we'll provide you with a place to sleep. You can use our quarters there. Okay. That works for me. But if you fail to pass the trial, you must move on. You will be expelled from the village to meet your own fate, and perhaps your death in the wilds. Captain Sile's a bit, like, wheezy in a way. They're both plenty harsh. Now, now. She puts a stern up front to keep us all safe. Anyway, I think it's time we turned in for the night, eh? It's a good thing we can't fall on the futons. <laughs> True. Good night. I need to sleep tight. Still, people falling through the sky. That's some kind of story. Yeah, succeed in your test or we leave you to die. That's more or less how it goes, huh? Hey, buddy. I'm just looking in general. Oh, that's cool. They actually have a little battle of in here. We'll probably be going to use that in a few moments. I should probably just chase the main plot for a few moments, though. At least, at least until we get a first, you know, sense of gameplay, right? We don't actually know what the gameplay is, is yet. I'm still assuming it's just a regular Pokemon game, except you have real-time ca uh, catching mechanics. Uh as an option. Wait, did we actually get all three? I, I think we're only getting one Pokemon, right? That's how Pokemon games work. Oh, that's beautiful. This looks super cozy. Oh my goodness, look at how cute this area is. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Hmm. Okay. Hit up and we can get survey tips. Ah, we really can save when we do that. Okay, okay, okay. Up button to open the menu, then... Interesting that it's up and not plus. Weird. Okay. Okay, good. Quick save. That's good to see. And a quick nap. Rest until... Yes, yes. Go to a quick nap, 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 nap. A nap, 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 nap. A nap, 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 a nap. Is this another person from the future? Uh-oh. Well, we have a Zapdos from the future, it looks like. The next day. Ooh, Robin Hood is a good name, actually. I like that one. Hey, you awake? There was some wild lightning last night, eh? 
If you're on up, come on out. Okay. Um. Well. My clothes aren't entirely clean, but it's probably okay. Hey, buddy. Did you sleep all right? I know it's not easy in a strange land. We better not keep Captain Sayel waiting. Let's hurry to the headquarters. Okay, good idea. Yes, we'll go to the headquarters. We're just going to chase the plot. Like, I want to run... I wonder what a Starly would like. I misread that as I wonder what a Starly would taste like. And I kind of think that you and I have, have different ideas on what we should do with Starly. And I, I apologize. But I think we have different plans for Starlies here. You can throw spoiled uh, apricorns at wild monsters to make them drop the defenses. Oh. We don't have any money. In fact, I don't even know what money looks like here. What's money? Ooh, pretty. Oh my gosh. It still looks more modern than I would have expected, but I like it. Galaxy Hall. Huh? Wild Pokemon. They they were everywhere, attacking from all sides. I pulled out my partner Pokemon, but against the whole pack, we, we were outnumbered. This is what happens when you go so far afield, but the Medical Corps will bring you in all right. Aw, do we have Palico-style things? Uh, you do realize that if you fail your trial and get flung out of the village, you could die out there. Well, I guess you'll die sooner than that if you have to take on this tri po trial without a Pokemon. Captain Sayel, I brought Jade. You may enter. Hi, how you doing? Oh, it's an Abra. Look at a little sleepy Abra. Let's get straight to it. If you wish to join the Galaxy Expedition team, you must prove yourself capable of going out into the field and catching three different species of Pokemon. Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. Three species right away, but none of us have ever managed that. Did the stranger not catch three different Pokemon only yesterday? My trial should be simple enough for her, if the professor wasn't exaggerating things, that is. Team Galaxy does not have the means to provide for those who'd only take without giving. If you wish to say, you must prove beyond any doubt that you'll be a reasonable asset to our cause. I will let you out on one of the Survey Corps satchels to carry whatever you need in the field. Okay. Good, 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 good. That whatever it is that you're wearing doesn't suit our satchels in the least. Eh, it's fine. Wait, I expect you to step in if anything goes awry. Buddy, buddy, I've been playing Pokemon since before you were born. I think I've, I got this. Press the Y button to... Oh, for map. Really? Maps on Y? Okay. Now then, a jolly good morning to everybody. Uh, what do you need, Professor? In order to complete the Pokedex and, well, you know, survive... Jade must pass this first trial. And I got just a ticket to help you accomplish that. Yay! Crew! Foom! Pish -pish. Come on, Jade. Pick the Pokemon that strikes your fancy. Alright. Well, we'll go in for a Cyndaquil. Did people pick, uh, come pick it, uh, vote for the name yet? I do. Give me that Cyndaquil. Give me that little flamey boy. Give me the little flamey boy. But how do we name it? We gotta name it. Obviously. Yay! A word of advice, my girl. Pay close attention to which Pokeballs are empty and which ones contain Pokemon when you're out in a field. Kroo -kroo. Yay. 
Look at those two cheer on their pal Cyndaquil. Or maybe they just wanted to help Jade. Well, whatever. They did go dashing out of the village when Jade fell out. No worry, all of you to assist me with my research for now. Do we get them? Maybe we get them later. By the way, what species has Captain Sayel charged you with catching? That's smashing. All three of those species can be found over in the Obsidian Fieldlands. Let me give you some Pokeballs for your trial use. Give me 50 yesterday. I guess. Wow, we still have like 60 left. Handcrafted Pokeballs. Okay, that sounds wonderful. Hmm, I'm going to be back in just a moment. Well, that... Well, that... Pole runs. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, wait, we only have 20 Pokeballs. Did he take back the other ones? Maybe he did. He also didn't give me a chance to name. How do I name? Oh, we can just change the name right here? Oh, okay. That's easy. Looks like we're going with uh, Pyrelin. It's a good name. I guess that could, we could still swing in a moment or two if people changed it over, but... So I will wait, but I will put input it. Pyrelin is a good name. It has the fire theming. It's cute. I like it. And it looks like we can change the name at any time. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. Okay. Hi, how you doing? It's safe here in Jubilee Village. Don't forget you can always return here to rest and recover. If we're running low on potions, I guess we'll need to go buy them more materials. Is that a vision test? Ah, cool. Hi, how you doing? Abba. I wonder if they're going to have a Abra teleport fist travel system. That'd be kind of cool, wouldn't it? Let's see. You'll have this trial cleared in no time. Okay, I hope so. I hope so. I think I'll clear it in no time. So Cyndaquil non-binary? I'm going to say yes. Why not? What's downstairs? This, oh, this building is huge. This building is absolutely massive and it feels good being so massive. Hi. Hey, um, where do you come from? Your clothes look kind of weird. Yeah, they haven't given me cosmetic options for clothing yet, but I'm hoping they will soon. Oh, they're making co the Pokeballs here. So here they're shelling the Apricorns. Um. Okay. And they're shaping them. They have a little special lathe thing. It may be a small thing, but it sure feels great to be able to make what's needed for the team. 
We're in the middle of nowhere out here. We need to make it to ourselves. That's fair. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, there is a blend of, e of Eastern and Western style architecture. That's very evident. And I thought this was going to be a bit older than having the Western influence. Hmm. Hey, buddy. You coming with? Buddy. No? Okay, do you not walk with me? Huh, that's a little... Okay, not what I expected. Come on, buddy. Come on, come on. No, you don't actually want to walk with me. I guess maybe I don't know you well enough yet. Oh, what a curious getup you have there. I can already tell that you are quite the character. I am Volo of the Ginkgo Guild, the go-to choice for any of your mercantile needs in Hisui. Cool. I've heard about you. You fell from the sky, didn't you? Now that's a tale I would like to hear. Hmm. And you got a Pokemon. You're certainly full of interesting surprises. Investigating odd and novel... And you guess... Yeah. Investigating the odd and novel is the key to any good merchant success, so what do you say? How about you and I see how our Pokemon stand up to each other in battle? I... I like you better and better. What a delightful find. I've also heard about this trial you're going to attempt. Perhaps a quick bo uh, battle will get your blood pumping before you head out. Though I hope you know if you'll lose if your Pokemon's HP reaches zero. Well, yeah, that's how Pokemon works. Alright, member Volo. Let's go. Go, Pyrolin! Wait, I'm moving? Whoa. Okay, so it's a regular Pokemon battle, except that I can walk around. Okay, so it's a regular Pokemon battle, but I can run, uh, still wander around and check it out from different angles. That's really cool. Yeah, it's still turn-based. Ooh, get big crit, big crit. We cracked that egg. Moves, items, use them well, and the whole world's open to you. Sick. New move. Sick. Ember, I guess? It's always good to have your Pokemon do a battle, don't you think? As they gain experience through battle, they'll learn more and gain even stronger moves. You want to change the moves you can use in your battle? Open your satchel and choose change moves. You can do that on the fly? Wait, really? So few people here have Pokemon. If only you knew... Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, you're gonna heal me too. Very nice. This guy's cool. I like them. Okay. I like this so far. It looks like it's just a regular RPG, except that being able to move around on the battlefield and the fact that you're battling in the region as opposed to going into the little pocket dimension of, of battle mode, that's actually huge. To the Obsidian Field Lands. Whenever you leave Jubilee, you have to pick a destination on your map. And let that rest the... Oh, see? Okay. <laughs> so it's basically a... Fast travel system, right? Okay, so yeah, it's a fast travel system where you can choose where we're going. And the framing device for that is... The framing for the dev that, that is telling the guard where we're going so they can collect us when we die horribly. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense, actually. I like it. That's a nice little camp. Our base camp. Now remember what you've got to do. You've been tested with uh, Boudoof, Sterling, and Shinx. Okay. I'm curious if the professor's story is about you are really true. Oh, professor? Wait, is something wrong? Ah, uh, well, Captain Sterling got a hold of me after you left. She impressed on me that I bear full responsibility to whatever happens to our, our sudden guest. 
Oh, she doesn't let up. How exactly are you supposed to help out here, Professor? Well, to be honest, my dear boy, I don't intend to lift a finger. Jade's talent's the real deal. She'll pass flying colors. So, in other words, I'm still bearing the responsibility here. Not ideal. Okay, let's just get started. Y you've got this, Jade. I do got this. I've got this. It's going to be easy. What's this? Craft. Oh, craft? Huh. Okay, so we can nap. Getting big Monster Hunter vibes out of this camp, and I'm loving every moment of it. This looks a lot like a Monster Hunter camp, and I love that. I love that about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Buckhead sees it too. This is Aspiration Hill. We name it here because people keep aspirating. Look, a Bidoof. Yeah, okay. I mean, it's a Bidoof. No, go get it. You may be some sort of prodigy, but just in case, here's what Captain Silene taught me. Hold down ZL to focus on a Pokemon. Okay, so that's a, lo a lock on. Okay, we got this. All right, so holding ZL. Get dunked. Ooh, Epicorn. All right, so we got a Bidoof. We do need a Bidoof name. Von Doof Sr. Ooh, I like that. Actually, Von Doof Sr. is a fantastic name. Where are you even go, Buddy, I'm, just, I'm trying to explore. Um, what's this? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to grab this thing. Let me, no, I, oh, buddy. Oh. Let's see, what's my name for a Bidoof? Uh, is it simple? I should check that. Uh, check summary. What do you do? Does it have? Where is its, uh, where is its uh, special ability? Wait, why isn't it listed? Huh. I don't know. Yeah, it's a Sterly. I'm, I'm not shocked about this. Oh, crouch out on the gas? Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, wait, instead of being attacked in tall grass, we're the ones attacking from tall grass. Where is this, Darley? Ah, gotcha. What's this thing? I want to see what this is. A medicinal leak. You got a Sterly too. I'm I'm impressed so far. I'm gonna drop the name Kong. Just because it's gonna turn into a barrel. Ray, let me let me vibe. I just what kind of okay. I'm gonna kill the next Pokemon just because you're not letting me explore. I forgot to say another smidge of wisdom. How you throw your partner's ball? Yeah, no, we figured that out. Have the item ready, but want to send out a Pokemon? Press X. Have a Pokemon ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Once you got a Pokemon ready, try aiming for certain rocks or trees like this one. Oh. Okay, let's try that. All right, so we switch over, throw out this Pyrolin, and then what? Oh, you automatically attack it. Oh, okay, and I automatically collect clit. Oh, okay. So as long as... Buddy, let me explore. Okay, so as long as... Okay, so you can throw your Pokemon out at contextual stuff. There it is. Shinx. Oh, it's so intimidating. It's so fierce. 
Shinx has an aggressive disposition. Did you know that? It has a what now? Don't worry, just focus on the Pokemon around you. You'll figure it out quick enough. Once aggressive Pokemon get wound up, they'll always knock away any balls you throw. Okay. Oh. Okay, so if it gets angry, we have to catch it. We have to fight it to catch it, which makes sense. Okay. Okay, so we have to battle it. We have to catch it. Normal Pokemon stuff, right? Normal Pokemon stuff. All right, so we go into combat. And uh, yeah, I guess we just hit it with Ember once or twice. Uh, we are double its level. We might kill it. Okay, we got to burn. So this thing might die. But it's below half. And it has a status effect. So honestly, whoopsies. Which honestly gives us a pretty good chance. Yeah, just, just, just toss it. Nice. I love the little fireworks. Wait, did you really? You really did. You did it. That's three species of Pokemon caught. You really are some kind of prodigy. Professor Laventon... Uh, <laughs> you must have given Professor Laventon the shock of his life. First you fell from the sky, then you go and catch all of our escape Pokemon. I didn't believe this professor's story until I saw you in action. And here you are, three Pokemon caught. You've completed your trial. Can I get, like... Pants. Boom. So for um, Shinx turns into Luxor, tur uh, or Luxray. Ah. What's the name of the ancient battery? That they found, that people have found. I forget the name of it. Um. Yeah, the Baghdad battery has a name for it. Isn't there another name for that? It was found no, uh, near the metropolis of uh, Tessifion. Tessifon. Okay, so that's going to be my name, is going to be that location. <laughs> oh, I said you passed the trial of flying colors, and you did just that! Congratulations, Jade. You've taken your first step towards seeking out every Pokemon. This is... Com you wait, we have, you, have a, you have a camera? Really? I am shocked that you have a camera. And it didn't take 45 minutes to expose? Wow. All right. Yeah, let's go talk to the captain. Uh, my name for Badoof was Kong. Just K-O-N-G. Just Donkey Kong. Eventually, you should have the Pokemon you've caught and live up to at the village. Whatever. Okay. Pokemon person... Yeah, we can we can have six Pokemon. Normal stuff. Okay, come on, let's let's go. Let me go exp explore. I want to explore now. We're done with tutorial. That was a good tutorial. I accept the tutorial process. Now I just want to go out and explore. I want to have an adventure. I've already been playing for an hour, and I think it's officially time to finish the tutorial and have an adventure. Hi, I found Pokemon. Seems we won't leave you to die after all. Well, thanks. I appreciate that. Congratulations. So you've passed the trial. You can hold on to the satchel. I might admit you've impressed me. I set a high hurdle to judge you whether you're a stranger like you could be worthy, but you cleared it. 
This is yours, the official uniform of the Survey Corps. Thank you. Ooh, sandals too. Nice. Get changed in the room you used last night, then you'll report at once the third floor. Present yourself in uniform to the commander. That's your first order from me. Alright, so I gotta go find uh, the mirror in our quarters. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, there's my house. I don't know why they don't follow me. I don't know why our Pokemon don't follow us in town. It's kind of weird that they don't, right? Um. Change outfit. Um. Yeah, let's change. What? Um. Oh, no hats. So we have our sandals, there's also the core sandals, but honestly, our sandals are going to be a lot better quality, right? We should move on the uniform, but we're keeping our sandals, I think. Okay, I need to put them both on. Fine. Because honestly, rubber, like the, the existence of rubber, is going to make our modern world sandals drastically better than anything from back then. I mean outfits and textiles, yeah, no, they're gonna be they're gonna be good quality. But sandals is where I think that we would actually keep our modern stuff. Look at you in the Survey Corps uniform. Now it finally feels like you're one of us. But I wonder where the captain decided to go. I see you've changed. Okay, we sleep in the same room. Uh, you can wear this as well. What are you giving me? Oh, okay, that is adorable. Actually, that's adorable. Okay, I love it. It's adorable. But I'm switching out my sandals, though. Now, present yourself to the commander. All right. Uh, all the way upstairs. Yeah, we're going all the way to the third floor. Uh, let me take a quick look around the second floor. No, this is just where we've been. All right, third floor buildings. Come on. What's up, Commander Dude? I've heard you have some Pokemon problems. I'm here to solve them. I've been waiting for you. Hi, how's it going? I am Kamado. Commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team. Hmm, so you're Jade. You know, back in my day, you guys were evil. But no one knows why. Uh... A simple yes or no will do. I've been briefed on your situation, including how you fell from the rift in the sky. Now let's see what you're made of. Face me in combat. Uh, we're gonna throw in him. Yeah, heck yeah. Let's, let's toss this guy to the floor. Okay, I mean, fair, but that's fair. Huh, you got some fight in you. Your sumo needs work, but I see some potential. I don't expect a warm welcome from everyone. Naturally, someone will be slow to trust an outsider who literally fell out of the blue. The superstitious among us might see your rival as a portent of disaster. But you passed the trial that was put to you. No matter how odd you may seem, you're part of the Jubilee Village now. Dedicate yourself to the exploring... Yeah, okay. But I warn you, Pokemon are terrifying creatures. Keep your wits about you as you work. You know, I'm just glad that this is a game where people actually consider Pokemon to be terrifying. I actually like that. Even the stamp feels like Monster Hunter. That, that complete stamp felt like a Monster Hunter stamp, didn't it? He begins a no-star recruit, sure. Perform well as a member of Survey Corps. Okay, can I just go explore now? Ooh, a recipe for crafting Pokeballs. An Apricorn and a Tumblestone. Oh, wow, so we can make our own? Ooh, and 3k. Now, the intention was to do a Nomart. 
um, not buy anything. I don't know if that's feasible. I don't know how this game works yet. But the plan is not to buy anything. The plan is for that. Okay. Hmm, who are you? Oh, 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 you don't need to talk to you, a clothier. Rest of us, they keep a ready change of clothes. Okay. An everyday kimono and everyday trousers. Nice. We're getting fashions. Can I, can I get more fashions? This way to the craft works. Okay, but um, first things first, my dude. Where is the clothery? Hey, there she is. A special parcels arrive with our name on it. What? Uh, oh, modern jacket, trousers, and shoes. Oh. Okay, so we have some stuff, stuff, stuff. Oh, shaman stuff. Shaman's adorable. I, I want to buy stuff. I don't want to change, too. Uh, how do I... Okay, let's, we need to change first. Looks like I can't... Okay, okay. We'll, okay, first things first, we'll take a change of clothing, because it looks like we can't change it with thing, wear things with our outfits. Oh, I like that. Okay, so the uniforms... Yeah, we're going sandals. Oh, oh, this is where we change eye color, too. Oh, that's cool. Ooh, I like that color. Yes. Okay, good, 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 good. Look, fashion is the most important thing in a game like this. It's, this is critical. This is absolutely critical stuff. How do I... Okay, why can't I see the hats? I mean, doesn't this just replace that piece I have on now? Let's just take off our headgear entirely. How do I take off my headgear? <laughs> I'm so confused. Why can't I take off my hat? Hmm, maybe I need to replace it with something else? I don't know. Let's see. It's urgent. This is this is important. A woven hat. Sounds nice. Various headbands. <laughs> options for eyeglasses too. Okay. Um flat cap is what the other guy is wearing, right? You know what, we'll just keep this. This looks good. This is fine. I'll worry about it later.
This outfit's nice. I don't know why I feel like I should be able to jump. Oops. I can have two Pokemon out. That's actually interesting. Seeds. Team Galaxy is made up of several core. Security, constructions, and agriculture. Okay. Hi. Here's the craft... Those blades of grass are going straight through that guy's shoe. That's... Uh, that's doing a cutscene, too. That's going straight through his shoe there. That's weird. Pretty self-explanatory. I mean, every game has a crafting system, right? So... This isn't going to be too big. I'll supply you with a material to make Pokeballs. Okay. Yeah, it's it's a it's a recipe bench. I I got the I got the concept. You good, mate? How are we do? Okay. The me <laughs> that complete stamp is adorable. I love it. This game is good. Ooh, that's some fine craftsmanship. Hard to believe it was your first time stepping up to the workbench. Yeah, because it's real easy, mate. It's just like the easiest thing we've ever done. And we got our Pokedex. How is this just like... Oh, yeah, it's just a binder. Okay, it's just a straight-up journal. That makes sense. <laughs> sure. Thanks, mate. I prepared this volume just for you. I hope it aids you well in your aim to seek out all the Pokemon in this grand region. Uh, let me just go... Uh, okay, I feel like the tutorial is, is stretched on a bit long. Um, oh, request, mini side quest. What do you got for me, buddy? What do you want, buddy? Wormpoles, I've heard of them, yeah. Chat with Professor Leventon. Yeah, Pokemon Evolve. So he wants a Wormpole, right? All right, so we get this guy a worm pull. We get this guy a worm pull. Your culture nerd is happy with how the game looks. It does look beautiful. I do think it looks fantastic. Do you want me to catch you a Starly? I I have a Starly. Want one? But I have a here. Okay, here. Check it out. Wait, what? Check Pokedex. But I, I have a Starly. Oh, wait. Okay, 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 okay. So we need to... Interesting. So there's actually value in catching more of them is because we learn more about things. More about them. That's actually very nice. Hi. I have a Shinx. Do you want to keep one? Um. Okay. Yeah, I can give you. I can show you a Shinx. Here. Its name is Shinx right now. Until the rest of the poles sweep through. The ears are pretty weird. Gotta say. <laughs> okay, so we finished a quest. What do you give me? Do you give me anything? I have no idea. Yeah, there's an item box by the entrance, just like we would have in a Monster Hunter. <laughs> One tick.
Arkatum parkatata. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Right then, let's get down to it, shall we? I think we shall. In order to complete this Pokedex of ours, we um field task carry out, sure. Yep. Mm-hmm. Now do I have to do all of those for everything? You focus on Pokemon in the Z button. You can also instantly check the research tasks. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. Some Pokemon have unusual research tasks. Be sure to check them out. All right. Okay, I assume there's a normal dodge roll. Here you go. Okay, good dive roll. Good dive roll. Actually, I need to practice those again. Maybe that would help my back. Hmm, 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 hmm. Okay, come on, come on. Let me go, let me go explore! Okay, thank you. Oh my goodness, thank you. Why to dodge? Really? Weird, okay. Yep, sure. No, 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 just... Just want to go out and explore, please. Can I actually do it now? Can I actually just go out and explore? Oh wait, I need to actually name the stuff. Alright, so what's our name for Bidoof? Looks like Watson is Shinx. There we go. Aeotis for the uh, Bidoof. Okay, Von, Von Doof Senior. Okay, 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 okay. All right. No, no, I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you. Don't let me talk to you. Don't make me talk to you. Okay, looks like I can actually avoid him. Good. Thank goodness. Fine. What do you want? No. Folk yeah, no, wait. Okay. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. I, I don't even care if he's giving me important information. Even if this is, like, actually inf interesting information, don't care. Just want to kill things. Come out! It's cute. Just, just fight. Just destroy this thing's face. Eradicate its existence. Wait, we're actually weak to that. Oh no, we're actually... Oh my gosh. Well, we kill this every time though, so we're fine. Alright, so this thing here... We need to def I mean, okay. I don't understand the hash marks on the left yet. But for Bidoof, we need to 
defeat more. So we're just going to keep on uh, killing Bidoof. Good XP at. We're actually going to use... Who are we going to use for that, actually? We're going to use Von Doof Sr. I like how this stays in the same region. But can I get hurt? Get, does something happen if I do this? If we can. Or at least we can fall over. Okay, okay. We're fine. All right, get wrecked, Bidoof. This is really fun. I like this. So we've defeated the one and the two. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So number caught, we have the uh, the chevron next to it. But number but number defeated, we have two mercs in it, but we haven't gotten anything out of that yet. If the, if the other Switch Pokemon games are like this, in terms of, like, layout and, uh, encounter style, I'm gonna be so hype. Because I don't think this is losing anything from the regular Pokemon formula, right? This is different from the regular Pokemon formula, but not meaningfully. This is just the regular Pokemon formula, except you don't have the transition into a separate world for... Huh? Yeah, you really are laying it on a thick way. You are laying it on massively thick. My dude, calm down with all these tutorials, all right? Don't forget to open your Pokedex and focus on a Pokemon to check it. Yes, I, you just, you literally just told me that. You just, you explained that I just like uh, 30 seconds ago. My name for Starly? Um, Aviesta. Aviesta. Okay, okay, okay. Do you want to fight me in a battle? Nope, just regular talk. Okay. So what are my tasks here? Evolved. The number evolved had was zero, but it has a shepherd next to it. I don't. I still know it. Why? No time he's caught it without being spotted is interesting. We can do that again. Uh, the first one, Aviesta. Yes. Nice. Get fought. Plus, I have to imagine that um, f doing like big encounters is going to be. going to be super hype in this system, right? Like, actual legendary stuff is going to be really hype. Oh! There we go. You like that throw? It ran away instantly. Interesting. I wonder how I'm supposed to destroy them. How do I... How do I kill a Starly then? Because I didn't even have a chance. It just immediately went away. I don't want this other Starly. How do I get rid of it? How do I release a Starly? I don't want it. I actively do not want that in my party. All right. Shinx Purdy. Just quick attack. Watson isn't really appreciably stronger, but... We should be fine. We should be fine. Hmm. 
Nice. Ooh, and we got a berry. Nice. Yeah, the Starlies didn't respawn, which is interesting in and of itself. I have to assume that each zone is going to have, like, some zone boss too, right? Like, some giant thing? Can I engage it from all the way out here? Oh, no! I got the throw. I actually did get the throw. What? Oh, okay. We're quick attacking it. Okay, but that doesn't work. Um, how do I switch? Go, Mr. No. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Um, yeah, roll this thing out, I think. So I can't use tackle now, right? Oh, it can? Interesting, so my rollout doesn't lock you in. That's actually very interesting. That's a different way, uh, entirely different style of rollout. Hey, my dude. Oh, wait. Well, we actually have swimming? Never mind. No, we don't. Okay. Wait, so are we hurt? I guess we actually can take damage, too. Alright, number evolved. We could do all I need to evolve one eventually. I don't want to catch more of them right now. Like, I just kind of really don't. Sip. Number of heavy specimens you've caught. Weird. Oops, I actually meant to throw a Pokeball that time. Whatever, we'll just hit it with that thing. Alright, so Aviesta won. And we need to burn these two. These two need to be off. These two need to go over. I don't want them on our team. I don't want them there. <gasps> Look at the otter. I want the otter. Oh, we have to mine first. Uh, mining? Mining? Give me mining. Gosh, this game is so bloody Monster Hunter. It's phenomenal. Oh, smash open sparkling rocks with Pokemon, eh? All right. All I need is something with rock smash. Hi, Ray. Uh, yep. Yeah. You can find a Pokemon named Booziel. Really? Where do you suppose that could be found? Um. We'll send Watson out to soften it up. If you take too much danger, isn't too quickly. Okay. Sure. We have to see it do certain moves. All right. Um, no, wait. So it's going to be Watson, right? No, we're low, too low. Watson's too low. I'm trying to lock on. Lock on? Okay, let me take a look at the thing. Um, number of times you defeat it with electric type, number of times you see it use aqua jet. 
Sounds good. We are low on health. We're about to die. Well, it's not a Nuzlocke. <laughs> um, Aviesta, how do you feel like about this thing? You feel good about it? Okay. That's actually pretty hurtful. Okay, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. Ow! This thing is taking a lot of damage. You know, wait, 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 we don't want to kill it. I forgot. I actually forgot that we don't want to, that we don't want to kill it. Yeah, catch it. That's a good Booziel. It's scrappy. Nice. All right, we need a name for Booziel. And we're going to go over and back and rest at camp. If I can remember where camp is. Should be this way. Come on, hello? Okay, good. Um, we can probably do something with the medicinal herbs too for healing, I'm guessing. I'm guessing there's an easy heal that can be done with those. We might need to craft it. I don't know if we have the recipe for craft potions. We might need to craft those into potions, you know? We might not be able to do it with just the leak itself. But we can easily rest. Let's check the crafting crafting. And I assume we can make food too as a minigame? I hope so. Yeah, all we know how to make are balls. Okay. Nice. Now, the most important thing... Um... How do I get my Pokemon? Where'd my Pokemon go? Doctor, where's my Pokemon? Oh, I have a Booziel. Where's my Booziel? Okay, how do I get my boot? Okay. But there's no Pokemon boxes, right? How do I get my Booziel? Hmm. How do I get boxes, though? Okay, I'm a little bit confused, Cerned. The saving is a good idea. Probably something they haven't taught me yet. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. That's a cool color. Looks nice. I guess we need to chase the tutorials still. I was... Really... Ooh, there's a Wimple. That one dude wanted a Wimple. Hey, buddy. Get worm pulled. Okay, we have somebody who wanted that. I'm definitely seeing these mining points all over the place as well. What are, oh, there's a Starly. Buddy, 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 I caught a Booziel, but I have all these dumb Starly and I hate them. How do I get rid of Starly? How do I, how do I get rid of them? You can teach me to do the, the... Okay. Thank you. Hmm. Okay, so that's for on-the-go crafting with stuff that's currently in my inventory as opposed to stuff that's in my home inventory. And there's a recipe for potions. What is it? It's a medicinal leak and maybe something else or maybe not. 
Or Enberry and Leek. Fair. So that makes a lot of sense. Um, but what? how do I get my cool Pokemon? What are you doing? What am I looking at now? Okay. Just go do tasks. I will go do tasks. What do you manage to do here? Um, light specimens caught and don't know how to tell those. Caught without being spotted and defeated. Well, we're going to work on defeated now because I want to beat up a booze. Uh, this thing. Why? I'm a little confused by this. Why did it? Why can't I attack that thing? Ooh, a shiny rock over there. Come on, fight. Good. I don't know why that other one didn't fight, though. I like the menu of uh, sound effects, too. They're very snappy. Oh, right. We're weak to that. We kill it in one more gust, though, right? Yeah, we do. Good. Wow, Cyndaquil is really beat up by Bidoof's. It's kind of funny. I see a sparkly rock. I want the sparkle rock. And there's Marbuzio, which I like. How do I... How do I... Oh! Oh, that's how we do it. Okay, 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 okay. Do we just send them out to go break it? Got it, got it, got it, got it. So in general, we interact with things by throwing Pokemon at it. Honestly, that makes sense. That makes genuinely a lot of sense. Can we fight you? And we can burn you. Okay, so Boozeal's signature move is Aqua Jet, right? Aqua Jet is what it does. So what's a... Um, and it's, and it's tail sort of has a propeller on it too, right? So it's a aqua jet and has a propeller. So it, yeah, both the jet and the propeller thing. So what's a name for a jet or maybe a submarine? That might, my name for Buziel is going to be uh Nautus, N-A-U-T-U-S, Nautus. It's the same root as Nautilus, but Nautilus sounds cool. Why did it get three attacks? It got three actions. Two of them were non-actions, but I don't know why it took three actions. Good job, Von Doof. Now I'm starting to run away. Now it's going to happen. Grieving its guard up, keeping its guard up, and ran away. Not what I was going for, but alright. Come on. That works. Keeping guard up. And burn. Just burn. Nice burn. You know, Ember is a really interesting attack because it has such a high percent chance to burn. Like, yeah, it's 40 damage. Yeah, it's it's objectively a bad attack, but it has a 30% chance to burn, which is pr honestly pretty high. 
I like that I don't have to actually collect that. I can just toss the, the Pokemon out there and walk away. I don't need to actually stand and collect it, which is pretty nice. Yep, there too. This game's pretty. Oh, I'm so glad they just got, I got to the point where I can just walk around, right? Just walking around and just throwing Pokemon at things honestly feels fantastic. Oh, when we got the burn. Yeah, we're weak to the rollout, but this thing's this thing's toasted. Yeah, another ember, and it should die to the burn, or if it just okay, just yeah, straight up dies. Yeah, easy. Nice. Oh, it's getting XP for that too? Oh, that's really interesting. Oh, hello. I spy Ponyto over there. Let's try to... I see a Ponyto in a tree. That's cool. Um, Times you've given it food, time you've seen it use Ember, defeat it with water type. I would if I knew how to get my Pokemon in, in my party, but I don't. But alas. Oh, whoops, I meant to be- I meant to actually try to catch it there. Oh, well. Ow? That's fine. We'll get a roll out on it. And it ran away. Beans. Hey, buddy. How you doing? We're probably not going to use a Ponyta, if I'm being honest, because we have a fire starter. But maybe you will. I don't know. Oh, I see another shiny over there. Bonk. Yep, you get a tiny amount of XP for doing that, which is actually any any XP for doing that is kind of cute. Oh, I like the way you run around here. All right, so what do we want? We want well, I guess from this zone we don't really need it for anything. The biggest thing we need is the ability to change out our team. You know, we want to be able to set actually start setting up our team, right? Maybe we need something with mean look or something that's faster. Ow! Okay, no actual poison though. Good. Yeah, this actually rules. That's an apricorn tree, isn't it? It is. Yeah, so making Pokeballs is going to be super easy. Otter bottle. <laughs> Otter bottle one. Oh, wait, wait. I gotta get out. Can I get out? Boy, I wish I could swim. I mean, we're gonna get surf eventually, I assume. Ooh, look at that over three over there. Can we see any Pokemon over there? No. This already feels like it might become my favorite Pokemon game. Just... The running around feels very good, very natural. 
you, I'm actually using my Pokemon for stuff in the overworld, like actually sending them out to gather for me, which feels really good, frankly. The combat existing in the same plane. Actually, I shouldn't have done this one. Actually, no, we're just going to run. We don't actually want to fight this. We need a fighting type. Whoa! What's this? Okay. Well, there's a Rapidash for sure. Um... Whoa! Bright red eyes. It's... Honestly, looks like it's gonna... Be super dangerous. So let's get into the grass. Ooh, Stardust. Oh, the X. It cannot be caught. You see that? Cannot be caught. Level 40? Okay, well, yep. Yeah, we're, we're, we're gonna move on here. We're just gonna... Grab these berries and uh, keep on moving. Uh, I'm not dealing with a little 40 there. That seems a bit big. I mean, it's, it's enormous. And it's super, super cool that it's there, right? The fact that it's there at all, the fact that we can see it, the fact that we can, you know, walk up and interact with it. Fantastic. I love it. It's uh, just obviously too big for us. It's just a bit beyond our pay grade at this point. Starting to get late. Uh, you know what? I mean, um, in-game time. I'll probably go for another hour because I'm having so much fun. As usual, it was a bit. Of, we had to get through all the tutorial stuff first. Once we got through the tutorial stuff, it's a great time. I want to see what Pokemon come out at night, though, because Pokemon at night are going to be different, right? Also, I like that it's not using the real-world clock, you know? I like that it's not just using a real-world clock for a day-night cycle. Who are you? Have we talked to you? Hi. Well, we're going to wait a few moments for night time. Hop. Hide. You can't see me. Yeah, sure. You didn't see anything, buddy. You didn't see anything. What about this one? The other one, easier to catch? Come on, switch targets. How do I switch, do I switch targets? Oh, A to change focus? Oh, okay. Oh, well. Oh, we caught it. Okay. So the big question is still, how do we change our party? Because I don't mind the idea of catching a bunch of excess Pokemon, especially with these mechanics. With these mechanics, catching Pokemon seems fun. If that's a big Rapidash, is how big is Wailord going to be? Wailord is going to be maximum Wailord status. We're going to get... Whoa! Oh, 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 hello there! Okay. Come on. We caught a Drifloon. Ooh, it's, the music is actually tense and scary. Okay, we can't cross that until we get off across the bridge. Which is fine. I think it's just time to go back.
Hey, buddy. I don't know. I, you know, Drifloon wouldn't be my pick to take into combat. But maybe we will. Pazow! Nice! And in general, I like the fact that Rapidash is here. You know, I like the fact... That Rapidash is... Yeah, we haven't seen a grass starter. We haven't, well, we haven't seen a grass type Pokemon at all, have we? There's another Drifloon. What do you do? What does Drifloon do? Does it run away? Is he going to come back? It's behind me, isn't it? It is. Okay. Let's beat up a Drifloon. Zap, zap, zap. Because this thing's uh, flying, right? Ghost flying. It sure is. No reaction from it. Gosh. Pow, pow. Good, good, good. Bugwort. Okay. Move master. Wait, move mastered. New move. Uh, what does move mastered mean? I mean, that's a good move set. I just don't know what it means by move mastered. Hmm. There's stuff to learn here. Okay, looks like the only new nighttime Pokemon is that Drifloon. Boom. So we're going to catch another or two, or we're going to kill another or two? Actually, they're weak to bite, too. These are both good. Oh, wow, get munched. Oh, wait, we're actually engaging with both of them? We actually have two Pokemon that we're fighting here? It looks like. Or is that not true? Oh, no, no, we are actually engaged with two Pokemon at the same time. Oh, that's interesting. Could I have sent out another Pokemon? I don't know. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so we need to swap out our team, but we need to advance the main plot a little bit more so we can get to some other Pokemons. Wait, did he say something? Hold on. Oh, it's a crafting kit. Yes, yes, yes. Survey reports. Um, when you submit survey reports, you receive money based on the level and number of Pokemon you caught. Oh, okay. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Ten Pokemon caught. Okay. And we got a couple thousand monies. Most illuminating. I'll update your Pokedex. Well, thank you. Updated. Okay. Um. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so it has a little bit of uh, DNA in here from uh, the Pokemon catching games, too. You'll be ready to move up in ranks. Cool. Yeah, it feels a little bit like they took some ideas from Pokemon Snap in here, too. Which I appreciate. I didn't want to go back to the out here back, though. I want to go back just because I think that guy said that he would switch my Pokemon for me, and I wanted to see what that's about.
Um, I want to see my Pokemon. Okay, so we're getting rid of this unnamed Starly. And this unnamed Bidoof. We're putting in... Who are we putting in? Buzio? So we have something for water. Although Vandoof will become water eventually. And then either Wormpool or Drifloon. Honestly, I don't think Drifloon is that good. But it does have Confusion, which is a decent Psychic attack. But for now, let's just pull up our Wormpool. Both of which need names. If you would be so kind as to start gathering names for those, I would appreciate it. Pa 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 pa. Oh, so, so for Buzio, what did I say for a name? I forget. Wormpool. Wormpool turns into... Is Wormpool turned into Vervillian? Hold on, what does Wormpool turn into? Wormpool, what do you become? Oh, I guess we don't know what it can. That's right. That's why we don't know what it'll turn into. It could be a Silcoon, or it could be a Beautifly, or a Dustox. Okay, so we don't actually know what that'll be, which makes it mysterious. So let's go with something like Enigma for Wormpool for me, my vote. And oh, that's right, Autolal won this. All right, let's go back inside now. Yeah, we'll probably go for about an extra hour. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think Nuzlocke rules would be fun for this game. I really don't. But I don't know if Nomart rules make sense either, since it looks like you can cra uh, craft most of the stuff that you need from there, from the world. Hi. Here's my Pokedex. I'm doing good. What are we doing? Oh, we got a star. Nice. First star. Well, that's just across the bridge, right? Ooh. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there's 10 ranks. Oh, we can use heavy balls now. And Pokemon up to 20 will be reliable or return if we... Okay, okay. And we survey rewards are more generous. Nice, nice. And recipes. Oh, heck, I assume the heavy ball recipe. Black Tumblestone. Revives. Cool, cool. Mm hmm. Okay, let me out there. I want to catch more stuff.
My vote for Wormpool is Enigma. Oh, we've earned ourselves a meal at the Wallflower and a good night's rest. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll eat at the place where you eat things. It was night, though, so is this a, a dawn meal? So, Jade, my girl! I do believe a jolly good congratulations in order. Well done in reserving your first star. Our usual order of potato mochi tastes even better when there's something to celebrate. By the way, have you taken that request that Borogod had? I think so. Well, most people don't know much about Pokemon. You've noticed that, right? So it's our job at the Survey Corps to take care of any issues that crop up because of that. We're kind of Pokemon problem solvers. Indeed so! Some people ask for help when you talk to them. Well, other requests will need to be claimed from a black bird I keep in mind. Okay, so request... Uh, okay, got it. Um... Oh, okay, so Ray kind of... So basically, we are prodigies because we know what Pokemon are and how they work. Um, people of Diamond Clan have lived there since... Oh, so that's actually really, really interesting. I know that that before the game was released, that, that this area takes place in roughly Hokkaido, and Hokkaido had indigenous people before modern, before what would become the modern civilization came in. And there was some question of what would happen to Pokemon. Would they recognize the own indigenous people of Hokkaido? Or will they just pretend this is an open frontier where people just came in and claimed land? But looks like the answer is that they are actually acknowledging the existence of the indigenous of the First Nations. That's that's great. In fact, they're they're being seen as people that know about the local Pokemon. That's fantastic. Okay, cool. I don't know what I expected. I don't know. Usually, Pokemon doesn't have to handle stuff like that, right? Usually, Pokemon doesn't need to handle that sort of real life um, situation. But when you're going into a historical section in an area of Japan. Like, like Hokkaido, there is a potential for um, concerns, and I'm glad that they didn't do anything concerning. Hey, Jade, before I go meet Maya about that request, can you show me... Oh, how are we doing battle? Heck yeah, let's go. We're going to burn you. Great, I'll be at the training grounds. Are you changing up at pastures? What do you mean? I'm not sure what he means by that. We can change him at the guard house. I assume we can also train him in our own house. Alright, where are you? Um, I kind of want to change the hat. I just want... I, I don't know why we don't have a hat. Sure, we're just going to buy this hat. All right, we can't be, be equipped with our current outfit. Why not? So if I change into my modern jacket, with your hairstyle the way it is, oh, how do I change? I have to change my hairstyle first. So we need to find a hairstylist. What do you got going on over here? What's this about? Pastures. Oh, okay. So this is where we can, this is where our Pokemon go. This is what I meant by pastures. Okay, okay, okay. That makes sense. So this is kind of like a daycare without actually being a daycare. This is just, this is just our cache of Pokemon that we've caught. Not in the training and breeding sense of a daycare, but it just actually is our box. Like, yeah, it's not a daycare. It's, it's our box system. Our box system is just like, you know, this place. Hmm. Hi. Um... Oh, nice. I can't use their mirror, so they covered it up. Otherwise, I'd be able to use their mirror for stuff. That's cool. Maybe it's the guy next to the closed place? Maybe. We gotta check. We gotta find it. So these are all residential, right? Right? 
Ooh, let me inspect this. I like it, I like it, I like it. It's rather impressive that you can get Pokemon when they're... Oh yeah, we're, we're amazing at it. I like the way they're building this house. The scaffolding actually seems correct for the time frame. The heavier beams are... I can't quite see how they're being fitted. But if we assume that they're... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Some hay fields over there. Okay, 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 okay. This game's cool. I like this game. This game's fun and good and cool and good and fun and good and cool. All right, buddy. Think fast. <laughs> Thanks for taking a minute. I know your plate's full right now. Yeah, he's super serious. But then again, you know what? Because it's so new, because the concept of, of catching and breeding and training Pokemon is new. I mean, they don't even have a concept of breeding. They don't even have any concept of Pokemon husbandry. Because Pokemon is just a new concept to these people, it makes sense that battling would be serious business. I'm going to be serious with you about something. I don't understand how anybody can handle taking on Pokemon in battle. I'm a survey crew member, and I've even got my own partner, but I just can't do it. Your partner? That's right. Take a look at my very own partner. Oh! <gasps> they actually used the Pikachu voice instead of the anime voice. That's the first time in a Pokemon game that they've used a Pikachu's call instead of the... Anime voice actress using, uh, you know, saying Pikachu. They actually used a Pikachu call. You have no idea. I don't know why that feels so impactful. This is my Pikachu. During the Shinx attack, I should have had Pikachu fight at my side, but my mind just went blank. And really, when you get right down to it, Pokemon are terrifying, right? Why should this thing be able to fire electricity? But watching you work and completing those research tasks convinced me. I want to do my Survey Corps work well. My partner and I have to be a team. First step towards being a team is to battle your team. I like that Pikachu a lot, actually. Oh, he has six Pokemon? Oh, no, he has one Pokemon. Ow! That actually hurt a lot. And it paralyzed. Oh my gosh, we were actually just going to get killed by this thing. Wait, how do we... Okay, it just got a first attack. Well, we got our burn. Wait, I'm confused about this. Paralyzed lowers our speed, so why did we get to go... I don't know. I'm not sure how turn orders works. Yeah, I guess that's what it is. I don't know how to understand how turn order works. Because usually you pick your, your moves before you go attack, right? It seemed like that wasn't the case there. Move mastered. I don't end a new move. Maybe you don't learn new moves until you master your existing ones. Because that happened twice now where move mastered and a new move comes up. So maybe that's to encourage you to keep um, less common... Uh, moves on your Pokemon to help you... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I hope you and your Pikachu are both adorable. <laughs> yep, good old type matchup chart. You gotta love it. Mm-hmm. Alright, so we need... Oh, you were the one? The new recruit everyone's talking about? Yep, that's me. Oh, hello, hello, hello. My name's Zisu, captain of the security corps. Hi, 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 how are you doing today? I see you guys, I'm fighting you. Figured I could stop by and give you some advice. 
Captain Zisu is an ancient martial art master. They'll guide you in Pokemon battle. Now listen, if your Pokemon truly mastered its moves, you can actually use them in different styles? On one hand, you can choose to deliver a move in the strong style that'll do more damage, but it'll take longer for us to act. Or you can unleash an agile style, which has less power behind it, but you can move more quickly. In truly favorable conditions, it might even get one or two moves before an opponent can act. Wow! So this is using more like a Final Fantasy X style uh, system of... of Hmm. Okay. That's interesting. By pre yeah, agile style or strong style by pressing L or R when selecting the move in battle. Sometimes your Pokemon will naturally master a move and unlock the extra style simply by leveling up. That's awesome! Both use more PP than usual. Agile style increases your speed. Strong style uh, lowers your speed but increases power. Okay. That's amazing. I love this. This is the kind of innovations that I've wanted in Pokemon for years, but they've always kept on doing the same thing where they keep on re... Um, where they keep on just rehashing the old games. This is actually adding new stuff to Pokemon, and I like it. It looks like Wiggle's pretty well and solidly won. Zisu, give me some new moves. Show me your moves. I want two new moves, please. Uh, Badoof, actually. Von Doof Sr. needs a new move. How does Stealth Rock work in this game? Oh, it just damages the target for several turns. Okay. Um, Swift is a special attack, which is not going to be... Rest is actually not bad. Alright, so Pyrolin... Wait, is Pyro... What is Pyrolin's, um... Yeah, Pyrolin is a special attacker. So learning Swift would be a good idea, actually. Okay. Nice. Cool, cool. Aviesta honestly doesn't need a whole lot more because they already have... Ooh, Ominous Wind on a Starly could actually be interesting. Oh, that's kind of neat. Uh, Watson is pretty good. Okay, you can learn the Fangs, which is great. Um... Alright. You're... Actually, Thunder Fang is going to be one of your best moves. Otter Lottle, honestly, as long as you have Aqua Jet, you're going to be pretty well off. Having Rock Smash for a fighting attack would be really nice, though. Oh, Bulk Up does increase defense as well. Maybe that's not a bad idea. Nah, not right now, though. And Wormpool, what can you learn? There are no moves he can learn. That makes sense, because it needs to uh, evolve into him. Alright, so what's the Wormpool name? It was uh, Wiggle? Wiggle. Alright, so Pyre has Normal Fire Rock, which is honestly a pretty good coverage. We have Rock and just Tackle for Von Doof. Von Doof... Can you learn Rock Smash, actually? <laughs> this, I like this more than regular Pokemon. Uh, you know what? I think I'm just going to... Okay, we have Thundershock. Hold on. We have a physical attacker, right? Yeah, physical attacker. So this is actually going to be better. You're going to want th uh, Thunder and Ice Fang. Because those are two very good attacks. And Thunder Fang is actually going to be your bread and butter now. Anything else we need to catch up on here? 
Not really. Okay. I like this. This is great. I want to master moves. Oh, we need, a, we need an item to do that. Okay. Exchange items. Okay, I don't know what those are. Not going to worry about it. Nothing. Wiggle. Um, Drifloon. Lindbergh. Um, yeah, um. Yeah, I'm gonna, we're gonna name, I, I would like, my nomination for the name for Drifloon is Lindbergh. I will not be elaborating at this time. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can figure it out. You can, you can get, you can understand that. You'll, you'll figure that out pretty quickly if you think about it. I recommend not thinking about it though. <laughs> what do you do? Oh, you, you sell recipes? Oh no, you sell materials. Wait, do you sell recipes too? You do? I've already spent all of my money. Remedy honey honey cake? Huh. Uh ox power, ox guard? Okay. So Yeah, Nomart does not work for this system. This entire system does not work with a Nomart run, sadly. Are you a stylist? Yes. Oh, you are. Oh, we have enough money for hairstyling. Let's go. Jade, how dare? Whoa, oh, did you actually look up the... Okay. Look. <laughs> but it makes sense though, right? Okay. The long hair does look nice. But I do not like... Ooh, I do not like that. Shorn? Ugh. Curled? A mm, little bit too mommy. A little bit too maternal. Ray, I like the long hair. We're going long hair. Yeah, chestnut is probably going to be it. Wait, we can have, we do highlights? What are we changing here? Oh, this is for our eyebrows. That probably should stay... Yeah, that'll look good black. I like it. Now we can look at hats, too. Yes, Sapphire, you de I know which one you're definitely getting. Because you have good style. <laughs> okay, that looks a little bit silly. I think I'm going to go without that. <clears throat> but I'm going to take a look. I can't buy any more clothing now, but I can at least look at the hats. How does the... Oh, that kind of woven hat. That's what it meant. Festival ma oh 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 that that does not come close enough to the head that's floating in the air okay I do like that headband I do want that headband actually the headband looks nice This game is so cozy It's like impossibly cozy Photo sure <laughs> this game is good and cozy and relaxing which is good i needed this today i i needed a nice relaxing game i feel like i've been a little bit flighty today i don't know why but 
Yeah, I agree. Well, we're going to be unlocking more stuff, or we're going to go to other towns that are going to have different options. I needed a nice, cozy game today. I really did. I don't. You know what? We're not going to take a picture with a Pokemon right now. I want to get out and do a little bit more combat. It was a... We had to get pushed through the tutorials, as always, right? No, no surprise there. Hi. Alright, so we're just going to hop back out and try to cross that river. Yeah, I, I, you know what? I honestly think that this feels better than stock Pokemon, than the traditional Pokemon. The improvements that this game does... Oh, hello, Volo. How do you do? What you got for me, friend? There's a secret technique to catching Pokemon. A secret backstrike. Oh, yeah, I've been doing that, apparently. Hitting with a ball will pull a surprise at giving you the advantage when the battle starts. Hit a wild Pokemon from behind for a higher chance of a successful catch or to gain an advantage when starting a battle. Nice! So we so we actually get... Oh my goodness. I love this. This is amazing. From a game design perspective, Pokemon is good, but it has a, a, a lot of um, sacred cows, right? It has a bunch of system mechanics that haven't been changed for f nearly 30 years it has a bunch of system mechanics that have just been untouched that you w if if pokemon was a new game you would say that they're bad but people don't say they're bad because it's traditional pokemon stuff and this game is undoing some of them this game is taking some of those concepts and saying you know what no we're going to give you an actual open world um, movement. We're going to have you fight in place. We're going to have you catch uh, Pokemon directly. We're going to have Pokemon turn order be changed. Turn order is not just a static or back and forth anymore. What are you looking for, friend? Cricketot? Oh, I would, I'll try to find Cricketot for you. Honestly, you say it's a breath of fresh air, but I mean, honestly, it feels like a breath of the wild, you know? It's it's kind of like doing what Zelda did in, turn of, in terms of re, rebuilding the old conventions into something newer, stylistically. Okay, so he's giving me the recipe for mushroom cakes. Okay. Was that a pun or a segue? It can be both. I mean, it can absolutely be both a pun and a segue, right? I should not have put a wiggle out there first, huh? Um, who are we sending out? Who's actually going to deal with this mess? I forgot to set my new moves. Whoops. Uh, we'll just run. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so we actually don't want to be sending out Wiggle first. We need to be sending out Bondu Senior, and we need to upgrade his upset, um, change moves. You've got both of those. Oh, confirm. That's interesting. It's a little bit more in-depth on... I love this so much. I really, really do. I absolutely adore this because... Uh, no, I want to re reorder. There it is. There we go. Because now we can change moves anywhere in the field. We can change moves like right before an important battle if we want. Which is just awesome. Like, that's fantastic. This is doing all the things that I've always wanted Pokemon to do. I hope, genuinely hope, 
that this is the future of Pokemon. I hope, genuinely hope, that this is actually just what Pokemon is going to be now. Let me just adjust these orders a bit. Okay, and Wiggle couldn't learn anything new. I already put this one in, right? Yeah, I did. Like, this game... Oh, I actually do need to craft a little bit first. Crafting, I can take or leave. I don't mind it. I don't care about it. It doesn't mean make a huge difference other than, you know... Um, I don't have any use for either of these items, do I? Apricorns and Tumblestones so far are only useful for making Pokeballs, so I'm going to spam them. Never mind. I could, I should have done this. I haven't gotten any of those yet. Never mind. I couldn't have done that anyways. Haha, -ha, we're fine. And we can make a revive, which, sure, good to have one of those on hand. Okay. Crafting can be a big plus. Collecting, absolutely. And I don't... Oh, Balloonie. Okay. Uh, well, they're not on our team now, but remind me before we next time we're back in camp because I want to move out. And honestly, this little lad is about to get kicked in the face. Okay, um, yeah. Oh, okay, so the, the, the circle there, it has a circle saying that it's uh, super effective. Okay. And I'm guessing it'll have a minus if it doesn't, if it's uh, not very effective. Uh, we can just return the rollout, which should still kill anyways. Yeah, okay, cool. Grit dust? Don't know what that is. Oh, new moves on people. Hold up, hold up, hold up. No. No. There we go. Uh, Otter Bottle and Wiggle both got uh, new moves, it looked like. Aqua Jet, there it is. You love to see Aqua Jet. Nope, nope. Um, that's right, it just got, gains the new move. It doesn't. Act, I don't actually have to slot it yet because it has doesn't have enough moves for the matter. So that's fine. Hiya. All right, who's going to slaughter these things? It's going to be Watson. Right in the face. Bat. Yeah, that thing I gets two turns before I get a turn. Probably because it wasn't a back attack. I guess... Let me try for that back attack then. I gotta wait for this thing to not notice me anymore. That should be a back attack. No, it wasn't. Or if it was, it didn't. It wasn't a meaningful one. Okay. Okay. Pa Pow. Nope, didn't work. Can I fall? Fall damage? Yes, fall damage. Good to know. Actually, I didn't want Watson. You know what? No, Watson can deal with this. You'll resist the its uh, sparks, and you can bite it. So yeah, this is great. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, wait, Thunderfang? Oh, it's a triangle for resist. There's the left and the LNR. Agile. Strong style. Wait, why? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, look at this. Look at that action order based on speed. You actually have action orders based on speed. If we do quick attack agile style, it doesn't make a difference right now, but we, if we do strong style, it makes a difference right now. Oh, that's incredible. Oh, 
All right, so we're going to quick attack to kill it. We're going to quick attack strong style. We would have two attacks in a row right now, but instead we are not going to because we're going to do strong style because it should finish it. This means there's so much more planning and tactics and choice in, in the combat system. Beautiful. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. Hey, who's that? Don't worry, buddy. Thank you. Uh, um, okay. Hello, mysterious stranger. How do you do? Do you like a stranger mysteriously? Over here! Okay, she's hiding cute, though. This is Jade! My, my. A new face in the village? Not that it matters to me if you're new. If you're here, I'll assume that you're prepared to be for help. Cool, cool, cool. I am one of the wardens of the Diamond Clan. You may call me Mai. I suppose you might not even know what a warden is if you're new to Hisui. But I can't... <laughs> but such talk can wait. Right now, I'd rather be straight to the point. I have a problem that I need solving. So the important question is this. Do you feel confident that you can lead your Pokemon in battle? Uh, yeah. No, we got this. That's good to hear. Security Corps of yours certainly isn't up for the task. This is my partner, Marchlax. Aww. We were raised together like siblings. Aww. He battles by my side without needing any silly little balls like you use. Watch and learn. Oh, are we battling? Yeah, we battling. Okay, I didn't actually want to start with Watson, but it's fine. Um... Nothing strong. Agile style will get us an extra turn up here in the future. See? We'll do that. That did very little damage. But it was an agile attack, so my goodness, that did a lot of damage. Uh, that's fine. If we survive one more attack, we get two in a row. Oh, no. We just get two in a row anyways. So let's go for what? Two bites? Uh, two Thunder Fangs. That'll be the most damage we can do. And we have a chance of leaving it paralyzed. I mean, it's probably going to down us, but that's okay. Yep, that's fine. We give this to Other Lottle for the uh, because we want them to have the XP and they have a super effective attack. Because this should be a ton of XP for Other Lottle. There we go. It was a ton of XP. Gosh. Ooh, can evolve? Whoa, whoa. Wurmple says can evolve. Moon. You really aren't one of the usual galaxy buffoons that if you could defeat my partner. Well fought, Munchlax. I'll take care of the Pokemon that battles for us. Oh, thank you. Watson needs it. And I'll let you have these. You people will make all sorts of things up with your crafting, don't you? Should be some useful materials. Oh, that's uh, the revive item. You and Pokemon fought so well together. You practically acted as one with them. Rather like the legendary hero of old. The one who he sells toys to. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? You want to deal with an alpha Pokemon that's causing trouble? Um, yeah. Let's go. Hold on one second. Gotta take this. <laughs> no, this is just... Don't worry about it. Alright. Let's go fight this boss. I shouldn't have any problem feeling... I feel like an alpha is going to be like the f level 40... Um, Rapidash. So I feel like the fighting an alpha is going to absolutely annihilate us. Do you know about the almighty Sinnoh? Almighty, what now? Um, what do you got? Almighty Sino steers all time. It's said to have created the universe using its power over time's flow. And in this land of Hisui, was born in the process. Okay. 
It's by the grace of Almighty Sinnoh that Pokemon can live and thrive here. We of the Diamond Clan are descendants of a people who crossed the sea and settled here in the Hisui region to venerate the Almighty Sinnoh. However, it stole away from us. Okay. So Sinnoh is a Pokemon? I guess? Huh. There's something of that effect. I'll follow you and I'll hope to understand. I'm free. Oh, there, there's a cricket. There's a cricket. There's a cricket boy. This is obviously going to be a job for Cyndaquil. All right, Cynd All right, cricket boy. Get absolutely dunked upon. Easy kill, even for his level nine cricket. All right, I'm, 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 okay, it still says can evolve. Okay, just hit A to evolve. Really, it doesn't bother me. It doesn't bug me. It doesn't say, what? Something's happening. It just says, hey, this can evolve whenever you're, you know, in the mood to have it. Like, yeah, sure, do it. That's so good. I want all future Pokemons to play like this. At least so far. I, I guess I should play more before I really make that decision. Okay, that's incredible. Wiggle got the idea for a new move. Oh, do you see that? It, it didn't learn the move. It got the idea for a move. So that... Oh, the phrasing of that works so well for what they're trying to mecha uh, accomplish mechanically. That's so good. I it's I could change my name, my concept, and my thought brain thinks later. Though, frankly, I doubt it. I genuinely think that I hope that this is the future of Pokemon. This feels. I enjoy mainline Pokemon games. I enjoyed the, the the remake I did recently. I enjoyed Sword and Shield immensely. I think Sword and Shield were good games that were under that a lot of classic players underestimated. But the classic players underestimated them because they change some of the uh, basic things. This changes all the basic things. But so far, I genuinely think it's for the better. This feels like a better RPG than a tradition than traditional Pokemon games do. So far. And I say that so far just in case something about this ends up being annoying later. Maybe later on I change my mind. Oh, there's a berry tree that's going shake a shake a shake a. Well. Uh, Burmy leaped out. Uh, we probably want to catch this, so I'm going to try to swift it instead of uh, Ember. Perfect. Yeah, let's go for that. Nice. Cool. But yeah, at time of statement, I guess. That's fine. I don't really feel like fighting it, so. It's, I'm supposed to go over that way, right? Yeah, but I want to explore first a little bit. There's a Floatzel. Big old red eye Floatzel over there. I'm guessing the red eyes means the, they're in alpha. My only complaint about that is that. Yeah. Looks like the, this unacquired will probably just purely due to level. Back attack. Got him. Caught him unawares. That guarantees me going first, although it still gets two turns right away. If I don't one-shot it, which I probably won't... Which I do. Never mind. Easy game.
This plays like a modern RPG. This plays like a modern game. And Pokemon usually doesn't. Pokemon plays like a classic RPG. This feels like a modern game and I'm loving it. I love how you can hear the uh, giant Booziel um, call from all the way out there. Wah! Keeping the combat on the same world helps you stay connected into the world, something that Pokemon has always struggled with. My goodness. My goodness. This game's good, y'all. Ooh, I see some fancy things up, up, up there. What are you about? Where are you, Geodudes? Mind helping a guy out? I have some cherry berries. Okay, I think I have some. Oh, sure. I have plenty of them. Here, buddy, take them. Take him. Yeah, here you go. You can throw a berry near a wild Pokemon to grab their attention and keep them distracted. Okay, that's cool. What is that over there? A pep plant. Okay. Oop, that was too far. Alright, it's real Aqua Jet hours. Otter Lottle. Eradicate this thing. Oh, sick. Nice. Yeah, just uh, rock smash it. Quick attack will actually give me another turn right away if I don't kill, though. Which I probably won't because of resistance, but you know what? I'll do two quick attacks. I could have caught that, huh? Oh well. I don't really think I want to have a Geodude on my team, you know? I'm not... Hype. I'm not terribly hype on Geodude. Oh no, I have to catch them for uh, surveys though. I guess I want to catch it just for that though. Can you imagine them doing this with... Um, uh, what's the one that takes place in America? And actually being... Ooh, wait. Oh, okay. But actually being genuine to First Nation stuff? Oop, wrong button. What do you got in here? Oh, Black Temple Stone. Okay, so that's what I need for the... Uh... Can I get up this? That's what I need for the Heavy Balls. Oh, I can actually get up this. It's just a little bit on the steep side. Sick. Oh, there's that down there. Heck, it even does it all the way up here. Oh, I love that. They're actually allowing you to use verticality. Hello there. Is this Zubat. Look at that. I can snipe it from all the way out here. Oh, this is cool. I don't actually want a Zubat. I'm just glad to see that they're around, you know? Whoa! Oh, used Gust. Oh wait, there's a bigger item. I need one. I do want to collect these, though. What's that over there? Are you... What are you? Hello? Oh, iron. Cool! 
That shit's super rare in... Actually, no, I guess Hokkaido is going to be... Where there's going to be slightly more iron than normal. Not a lot, because it's just a g in general rare, but... You're going to have more iron, in I think, in Hokkaido than other regions. Um, do we fight this Burmy? Not without a lotto, that's for sure. Ode, Unova, and uh, Alola. Well, yeah, Alola. Alola does, but... Oh, wow, we got to switch and make an attack. Ooh, there's a shiny one. Oh gosh, oh that's confusion. That's actually trying to put me to... Okay, that thing's actually trying to kidnap me. Get up, get up! That's the first time we've been proper attacked by a Pokemon, huh? Roll out! Yeah, it's hit since we were super effective, actually. There we go. One less Drifloon. Another? All right, let's go. Yeah, Ode would be good. And Ode hasn't had a proper game associated with it, right? That's only been the uh, the Coliseum game. Now, that might make it sound like I'm saying that the Coliseum games aren't real games. And you'd be right. They're not. They're not full-featured uh, uh, nar narrative games in the same way that a mainstream game is. It's, it's just not. I mean, I'm sorry if that's a hot take, but, like, it's... Oops. I didn't want to come down here. Can I get back up? I don't think so. Actually, wait. We shouldn't have... Pyrolin. This is a bad switch. This is a bad switch. Don't sw don't do the switch in uh and when you do this. They're real games, but it's not a hot take to say that they're not full uh fully fleshed out compared to a regular uh, one, right? Like it's not that's not a hot take or anything, right? I genuinely can't get up that way now, huh? Okay. Alright, so how do I get back to where I was? I could drop down, but I think I'm just going to try going around. I'm also trying to keep my eye out for any Pokemon that I might want to take with me, that I might want to make part of my big team. Because as much as I love uh, Booziel, Booziel usually isn't, you know, late game material, right? Okay, so we can rock climb. It's kind of like Skyrim, except instead of just being, a, you know, binary, you can either walk up it or you can't. It adjusts your movement speed based on the elevation, which honestly is amazing. And you do slip, which is honestly fair. Okay, that's fair too. Alright, so if I want to climb up here, I need to cross over this angle here. Go up here, cross this way. Like that. Got it. Where am I going? Um, if it's a Burmy, we can just one shot it with Pyrolin. It is. Okay. I keep on hoping it's a Munchlax because I really want to have a, uh, a Snorlax on my team. Oh, and the burn? 
And the burnout? Pokemon that climbs? Where would that be? Yeah, collection and gathering in this game feels really good. I don't even know what I need. I'm just collecting stuff because it's fun. Oh, a sort of Geodude. Uh, okay. I guess we fight in a Geodude now. Our bottle is low on health, but they can survive a hit. Yeah, see, they're fine. This actually would be a good game to Nuzlocke, huh? I mean, I'm not going to do that right now, at least. But this actually, mechanically, would be a good game to Nuzlocke. Wait, is Wiggle ready to evolve? Is that what that means? Heck yeah, Wiggle, what are you evolving into? Stylish. And I did for a new move. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Nice, 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 nice. We should put Wiggle out front for this. We're going to see what this thing is. We're going to see what this... Uh, this part of the story is, then I will call it for the day. Oh, so even your professor decided to join us? Huh? Oh, hey, buddy. Thank goodness I got here in time. <laughs> All right, let's go. So what is it going to be? This is Deer Track Heights. This is where I've come to pay tribute to a special Pokemon, a Pokemon descended from one of those ancients blessed by the almighty Sino. Okay. That's not it. <laughs> That's only a troublemaker here to disturb the peace with its racket. And that's what you're here for, to dive the... Uh, oh, okay, so we gotta get him out of here. Alright, so are we have to just harass this thing? Oh my word, what a large specimen. Little wonder alpha Pokemon are feared across the land if they're all as oversized as this one. Exactly, they're not only big though. They're strong and know many moves others of their kind do not. They're not to be trifled with, let me tell you. Nevertheless, I believe that you are stronger than this alpha, so go show it beyond any misleading. So maybe they learn, they learn egg moves? That'd be interesting. So they, if that's how they, maybe that's how they teach egg moves. Pokemon whose eyes glow red are alpha Pokemon. Alpha Pokemon are larger and know moves that are rare for this species. Okay. Maybe difficult to catch. Uh, difficult, but not impossible, so uh, mental note that. Let's get open up with Wiggle. This thing's probably way too high level for Wiggle. Okay, I'm gonna do, you know, I'm going to go for the back attack. If this thing's just going to stand st and look forward, I'm going to go for the back attack. It's not turning to face. All right. Okay. Okay, apparently I have to go up and do it and introduce myself. It's done tutorial style, so I can't... I can't uh, actually engage it. Oh, that's fair, though. Pressing the Y button to check... Yeah, 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 that's very important. 
The action speed is also based on the speed stat. Wait, wait, wait. Welp, okay. Uh, so much for Wiggle, I guess. I guess that's not happening. Pyrolin should be able to be useful against it, maybe, question mark? Um, but it did just kind of eradicate uh, Wiggle, just... Gosh, that was that was kind of brutal. That was a little bit more brutal than I expected. Burn, 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 burn. No burn. Um... Hit it with, uh, sw uh you, you're gonna die. But I want to catch this thing, so hit it with swift. It's fine. And a crit, gosh. We need to be able to finish it off, so we're going to save Aviesta to be able to uh, do a, a final blow on it. But for now, we're going to send out Watson. And try to uh, throw a few Pokeballs at it. Oh? That's fair. Oh, we didn't make any of the Heavy Balls. Those would have been useful here, huh? Oh, well. Well, we got, we got it. We got the big boy. You really are an impressive one, aren't you? Seeing someone best in Alpha like that truly reminds me of a legendary hero of old. We have nice shoes, that's what helped. We would make sure your Pokemon are taken care of. Thank you, Wiggle, kind of. Wiggle's first battle, and they were like, well, what if we just died? Wow! What do we got? What in the world? Oh, it's a Stantler. Hey, buddy. How's it going? The great Weird Ear. Weird Ear? Weird Deer. Cool. Hey, buddy. Do you want to come with me? Hi, how you doing? He looks upon with such kindness, Jade. I'd say the Great Weirder has taken a liking to you. That's fortunate. He's an esteemed Pokemon that can dash across the expanses of Hisui while carrying a human. He's a blessing to us all. Remarkable! Truly outstanding stuff! A Pokemon letting someone ride on it! Why, it's just like the ride Pokemon of Alola. How do you know about Alola? Um, I don't know. Okay, you know what? I got questions about that. Oh, we can set up a base camp here. Okay. As long as your goal is to coexist and thrive together with the Pokemon, then we should be allowed to use the land. Okay. Uh, that's good. <laughs> nice. That was awesome. Uh, we're going to be playing more of this on Wednesday. So look forward to that. I'm... I am. <laughs> this is amazing. It took a little while to start up. The tutorialization was... As slow as you'd expect, but they want to attract people who have never played a Pokemon game before. And I think they succeeded at that. Here we have it. Deer Attack Heights. Heights camp. Nice. Yes, we can. So this is us teleport directly to here, which is amazing and awesome, and I love it. And we got two kilo monies for that, and we got the alpha Pokemon. Nice, 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 nice. Why did it bring me to here? Oh, just because these entries are updated? That's fine. I'm not too worried about that. Hmm. 
next week's stream schedule. Uh, Monday is going to be um, Indivisible. Tuesday is always my day off. Wednesday will be this. Thursday, I need to figure out. Friday is going to be more... Um, possibly more Indivisible unless we finish it on Monday. And then Saturday will be more of this. You all heard the grave news. The frenzied uh, cleaver? Cle what is that? Um, struck by powerful lightning. That, what's going on? Okay, cool though. I know. I just thought, I feel like I should actually say what my schedule is because I'm gonna have to write it tomorrow. So I had to, yeah. Alright, so we have a quest to f figure out what a cleaver is, apparently. Cleavor. Cleaver. Cleverier. The next day. Arise and shine. The boss wants you. Commander, that is. Get yourself to the commander's office. Okay, that's a little bit more... Okay. Hmm. Honestly, though? I think that's what we're going to call it for tonight. That's a good stopping point. But this game seems incredible. I'm loving this so far. Thank you all for joining me. I hope you guys are having a good time, too. If you like the stream, make sure you follow me on YouTube and uh, make sure that you signal boost. You know, if you think it's, if you think you know a friend who might like my streams as well, let them know. That's really the best thing I can do to grow, is trying to grow right now. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So thank you all, and I hope you have a wonderful evening. Cheers, friends.